Hello, thank you for joining me today. Today we are going to talk about Sephora collection versus the Ulta Beauty collection and see how they do when you compare each of them and what the findings are. So if you're interested in that, keep on watching. Okay, and just as a little side note, I am wearing a cute little orange hoodie today. And if you don't know, on the spring 2019 runway shows, orange was seen all over the place and on my Instagram I'm also doing makeup but also posting different pictures from runway collections just to kind of get inspiration so orange is going to be a big color for spring this year so okay let's move in and get started okay so just to start I have the Urban Decay eyeshadow primer on my eyes that's what I usually use used milk blur stick for primer instant age maybelline instant age rewind for concealer and i don't wear a foundation too much but i did put a little bit on today uh the la colors liquid makeup is what i'm using currently okay so i because i did not have those products from sephora or ulta okay so let's get started okay so i have the eye shadow and liner stick from Sephora and this one is $14 and then I do have the one that's comparable for the eyes from Ulta I had to throw away because it broke right away and it was so hard I'll link that video down below but it was so hard that I couldn't get any color but this is the face sculpturing color stick and the formula seem very similar so this one is $14 from Sephora and this is ten dollars from Ulta so you know kind of compare pretty comparable and if you wanted to really go on just the cream it's not exactly the same formula because this is a stick but I did have the Ulta cream eyeshadow that is actually you know for your eyes now this one is eight fifty and I will say that this one is more pigmented than the Sephora and it did blend out easier but for today's video, I'm going to start with these sticks and get my mirror out here. And I did like them both, but I feel like the Ulta one was a little bit more pigmented, but you could kind of feel it on your eye more. So they're not exactly the same color, but they're pretty, well, the Ulta one, obviously it's a contouring stick, so it's going to be a little bit browner but the texture and the consistency seems pretty comparable the Sephora one is a little bit stickier when you're putting it on with your finger but as you can see or may, hopefully you can see I feel like they both go on pretty evenly pretty smooth they're easy just to swipe on and then kind of you know blend it out more with your finger so I'd really say that I didn't like, like I said, the eye stick, but I like the face sculpturing color stick for eyes from Ulta. So I would say they're pretty comparable. The Ulta one is not waterproof. The Sephora one is. So if that's important to you, just know that. So for these, I don't feel like there was a clear winner of which one. Okay, so then let's go on. We're going to do a little bit of something in the crease. And... I didn't have an eyeshadow from Sephora, but I have this illuminating, luminizing palette. So I'm going to use this for blush, highlighter, bronzer. So this is $28. And this is what I'm comparing it to from Ulta. This was a freebie with like gift with purchase. So this one isn't exactly available. But I did find that if you look at a single bronzer from Ulta, it's $10. They had a three-in-one that's kind of a blush, highlighter, and bronzer that was $15. So overall, you'll see a trend that Ulta, for price point, does seem to be a little bit cheaper. They're pretty comparable, but on most things, Ulta is cheaper. But I did find for this one, the Sephora is definitely more pigmented. And you'll be able to see that, I think, for sure when we get to the blush and highlighter. Okay, so I'm just going to 
use this shade from Ulta and I'm going to compare it to that shade from Sephora for the eyes and just kind of put it above where I didn't go up with the cream up here. I just put the cream on my lid. Okay, and then if we clean off the brush. And I'd love to know down below if you have tried any products from the Sephora or the Ulta collection and what you think of it, what is your favorite? Okay, so again, I know they're not exactly the same. I think as you can see just overall that the Sephora one is more pigmented, but the Ulta one, you could build up. So let's see here. Yeah, so you definitely can build it up, but the Sephora is gonna go on quicker. You'll get more of a payoff quicker. Okay, so I'm just going to kind of do a simple look today and I'm going to use kind of the eyeliner as more to give me more color. So we have, this is a mini one, but from Sephora Eye Pencil to Go and I didn't have the exact same thing when I bought these. I really wasn't thinking about comparing them. And then later I was like, well, I want to kind of know now, since I've tried both of them, which ones, how they compare to each other. But this is the automatic eyeliner in black. So the full eyeliner from Sephora, $6, Ulta is eight. So here's a case where it's switched on price point. I felt like the Ulta one smudges more. So if you're looking for that look where you want to smudge it out, I would say Ulta. The Sephora one is definitely very soft to apply. There's no pulling and it did last longer. So I'm just going to put it on. And yeah, it's just very soft, creamy. Of course, it's a pencil, so you will have to sharpen it, but. And I'm just gonna smudge that out if I can find my brush over here. Smudge it out a little bit, yeah. I mean, you can, can smudge it, but it's definitely, it doesn't smudge as easy as, as easy as the Ulta one. Okay, and this one is your automatic, so you're not gonna have to sharpen it, obviously. I really should have got this in blue to make it more comparable, but we will get the idea, I think. Okay, so that's without smudging. And I personally like to smudge out my eyeliner. I don't really like the harsh line. That's just my preference. So for me, that is important. So they are, you know, different, but I think that you can see that just in the formula, it seems like the Sephora is going to give you a lot more payoff and be brighter. And it does last longer. It goes on the eye just more bolder. You'd have to kind of build up. Again, the Ulta one, but it could be done. Okay, so that is eyeliner. Then next we have mascaras. So from Sephora, I have the Last Craft, Lash Craft Length and Volume. This is the mini. And then from Ulta, I have the Limitless Lashes. So the full size from Sephora for this one is $14. The full size from Ulta is $10.50. And these I think are very comparable. I didn't see where there was one winner over the other. I think it's really just what your preference is. Oh, for eyeliners, I would say that I like Sephora better. That was the winner on that one. But okay, so the Ulta formula, it's definitely a wetter one when you apply it. And the Sephora I felt was, um, kind of more filler and lengthening, but it's more of a natural look. It's not as wet. So I really think with these, there's not a clear winner. It's just what you prefer. They both, you know, were the same amount of ease to take off. One wasn't harder than the other. Neither one flaked. Um, so yeah, they were both 
pretty similar. Again, just what you prefer. The brushes, I feel like the wands are pretty similar as well. The bottom one is also the top, or the top one is also the bottom one is Sephora. So pretty similar with these. The Ulta has just your basic mascara scent. You do have to be a little more careful with this one, I think, if you're a person who tends to get the mascara, you know, up on your eyelid, since it is a wetter formula. I think that I had that happen a few times and it does kind of clump up where you have to kind of comb it through. Do that real quick here. And then we'll put Sephora over here. I think for the lower lash line, I like the Sephora better. But let's see if you can see. I'm going to try to bring it in closer. Look up. I feel like it's really hard to see with the mascara, but um, this one, it's just the Ulta is definitely a wetter one. I don't know if that is showing up. And then this is Sephora. I don't think there's a clear winner. I think it's just kind of what you're looking for, looking for if you're wanting a more wetter formula or not. I'd say for me personally, I'd probably go with Sephora over Ulta just because I feel like the Ulta was a little bit messier to apply that you had to kind of clean up more. So that is that. Okay, so next we're gonna go, I'm gonna just use this bronzer as, well, as a blush, I guess. And <clears throat> I'm gonna use this top shade from Sephora, just kind of where my blush would be, just to kind of give you an idea of how it looks on the skin. I am not a big one with bronzer. Usually when I try to do bronzer, it doesn't really work. So sometimes, you know, I know that that's probably not what you're supposed to do, but hey, makeup is about no rules, right? So sometimes I just use the bronzer as blush and I feel like it works. You know, there's so many blushes out that kind of have peach and brown undertones that, yeah, I like that. Okay, clean off my brush. And put this. And I did do a full, like I said, a full video of Ulta. I'll link that down below. And I'm doing a full video of Ulta, or of Sephora. I don't know which will be up first, but if that's already up, I will link that down below where there's swatches and stuff. Okay, now let's try the highlighter. And the, yeah, let's try the highlight. Woo, ooh, look at that. And again, the single highlighter from Ulta is $10. So yeah, that's really nice. And let's do from Sephora. I mean, look at that though. Wowzers. So I know I already used these one other time, but now I'm just seeing them in the camera and it's like, ooh, 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 ooh. Okay, so on, you know what? I think I need to put some blush over here because that's just kind of throwing me off because it's looking a little strange. I feel like the Ulta bronzer works as a blush, but the Sephora bronzer really doesn't really work as a blush. Or I don't know what's going on there. Reason, I don't know if it's the foundation or what, because when I used this before, I didn't have any kind of foundation on underneath it or a primer, but I feel like, so I put the Milk Blur Stick right here and then I have the foundation all over and I had concealer, you know, right here. But I feel like the Sephora one is actually just kind of, it's really showing texture and kind of just glopping in one area. Where the Ulta one, I feel like it's kind of blending in better. Let me see if I can show you guys. 
So yeah, it just is kind of blending in better, but see if you can see what the Sephora one is doing right here. It's like creating a blotchiness and just kind of sticking and I put the same amount on the brushes and I usually always put my um, highlighter there and then that was where I put the bronzer. So I would say for the Sephora, you know, kind of you need to play with this. At first, like I said before, when I used it, I haven't worn foundation and I really liked it and thought that this I liked better than the Ulta. But I'm thinking with this foundation, or maybe it's a moisturizer, I was using the Clinique Moisture Surge underneath it. Something, though, is not going along with it very well. So just keep that in mind that you want to kind of see and, yeah, be careful and kind of play around with your foundation because that's not really doing good. So I will have to fix that. But, okay, let's go on, though. So we're gonna go on to lips. It's just so strange. So these are pretty similar in color. The Sephora one is $14. The Ulta is $8.50. But I do feel like there is a winner, at least for me. I liked the Sephora lipstick better. I did like the Ulta. It's creamy. It, but there's a smell. And I feel like for Sephora, there's a little bit of a scent, but not really. So I have used these, so excuse the mess on there, but they're pretty similar in there. So I think what I'll do is I'll put, well, I'll put it on half of it. So there is Alta. It's very creamy, like I said, it's just the odor. I don't really care for. And here is the Sephora. That if the Ulta one didn't have that scent, it would be higher up for me. But I do like the Sephora better. I feel like it's creamier. It doesn't have that scent and it goes on nice. I am more of a color person more than nude, but I do think that this is a nice nude. It is Lip Stories Tamlin. So I think that's going to wrap it up for today on the items that I have that comparing them both. So overall, I think that I would say I kind of like the Sephora items that I've tried better than the Ulta. The Ulta price point is better and I like the Ulta uh, rewards system better than the Sephora when you get when you purchase them. But as far as their own line, you know, I, Ulta definitely had some hits and misses. So again, I'll link that video down below. But just in camp comparing these items that I have here, I would say that Sephora wins, except for, now I'm rethinking the highlighter, and I'm kind of liking the e.l.f. highlighter better. I think that it's easier to work with if you, you know, I don't have to worry about what's underneath and it didn't do anything different. So Sephora, all except for highlighter. I like that one better. So let me know what you think. Do you agree with my recap and my opinion? I'd love to know down below and thanks for watching. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up and the little notification bell by the subscribe button and thanks for watching.